In today's short video on anchoring, I'll talk about the factors which should be considered by the mariner in determining the length of the anchor cable to be used. So we'll start with the first factor, which is the nature of seabed. When the seabed is a good holding ground, less anchor cable can be paid out as compared to a bad holding ground. As a rule of thumb, four times the depth of water is sufficient in a good holding ground and six times the depth of the water in moderate to bad holding ground is used as a rule of thumb. The second factor is of course prevailing weather conditions. So if the wind or current is strong, extra cable should be paid out. That is one or two shekels extra only. The third factor is swinging room available. When calculating the length of the cable to be paid out, available swinging room should also be checked. The fourth factor is expected length of stay at anchorage. If vessel is expected to stay for long duration, extra cable must be paid out. On the other hand, if anchored only to await pilot for few hours, any amount more than twice the depth of the water may be sufficient. Now at this stage, the point I want to emphasize is that all these factors can be subject to change. That is why it is essential that officers on watch should regularly monitor the prevailing weather and traffic conditions to update any of these factors. For example, you might have dropped anchor in calm waters, but if the weather picks up leading to heavy gusts or swells, then the factors will change and you may have to update the anchoring situation. So remember these factors are general factors only and based on the traffic conditions, weather conditions, sea swell and wind conditions, you may have to reconsider these factors even after you have dropped the anchor and the vessel is riding to it. So this was a short video and uh, I will see you soon with my next video. Bye guys.